Hi, this is Pete, and in this video I want to answer a question that was posed to me recently on how to take a step file that was an assembly, brought it in as a part, and now we want to split it up again. So for the record, the easiest way to do this is to um, refer back to an earlier video that I had knocked out, and you can see a link to that in the description, and simply open up a part first and then import the assembly. But if you thought you wanted a part and then later on you decided you wanted to split some of it off into individual solid bodies, maybe make a new sub-assembly reconstituted some other way, totally able to do that. So in that process we're going to build some sketches and surfaces so that we could create <clears throat> separate bodies from this one. So you can see this is a single solid body. I have imported it from a step file. and really the only way to do this well is to do sketches with surfaces because if I tried to make a plane it would actually slice through the entire shape. So for example just to highlight that if I was to say uh, a three-point plane maybe boom boom and then down here there's one great and then if I tried to use a split command and I'm using this plane and I wanted to split this body I'd hit apply and hit cancel and you would see it did it but it would maybe not give the result that we needed. It depended on the angle. So in this case it worked, but it won't always work. So that's one approach. The approach that I'm going to use though is to create a sketch. So I'm going to actually undo that one more time, get rid of the plane, and I'll create a sketch on this surface. So this is gonna give us a lot more flexibility. And what I do is I just put the points down. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's really fighting back. Well, fine. I'll let it do its line. Doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and pick two points there. And then down here as well. May have to grab this line and this line. That'll work. And then this line and this line. So either way you can do this. I'll go ahead and draw a line then. Escape spacebar, draw another line, escape spacebar, you get a little rhythm going. And I'll draw some lines in. So from there, I can hold on the control key, right click, and then I'm just going to simply have it pass through each one of these points so that I can really control that surface. And I'm going to do this really relatively quickly, but you could, if you wanted to, go back and apply all kinds of dimensions etc so I'm not going to get too crazy but I'll go ahead and dimension this say we make it four and then I can dimension from this point to that point and then make it 1.5 so I mean you could do that if you wanted to be very precise but this is good enough for what I want finish that sketch and then it's simply a matter of extruding each one of these lines now the toggle starting in 2020 is up here. Click on that and then I can do an asymmetric extrude. Orbit my model slightly. I don't really care the size and then the apply saves me a little bit of time because now I can just come back in here. Oh, That's what happens when you forget to hit the surface. <laughs> you can go ahead and apply all of these at once. Saves a little bit of time. So I'll do that. And then once we've got all of them, so not too terribly long, you guys get the idea. Once we get all the surfaces in play, now we can do the split tool again. The, uh, make sure that you do split solid, pick your plane, and then hit apply. And what happens is it just keeps splitting them. And then by the end, you've only got the one left. So really quickly what we're able to do is take this one solid and then using these sketches split it into the five separate solid bodies and then you could manipulate those however you want. Maybe you want to paint some of them a different color, you want to make a new assembly. The choices are yours. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below. And yeah, if you have any other suggestions or other things that you'd like to see in a video, please pass that along as well and have a blessed day.